I had a full ride scholarship and a spot on the Canadian Junior National Soccer Team and I lost it all on a Christmas shred trip. I started snowboarding in the late 90s when snowboarding was a fringe sport. At university, our coaches frowned upon it. There was this unspoken rule that we weren't supposed to do that. If you did have a snowboard, you had your finger on the pulse. It was something that we just had to be a part of. But we always felt like we were breaking the rules because we kept getting kicked out of spots. It was just a totally different lifestyle than my conventional life. I was playing for three soccer teams and I was a part of the junior national team program for Canada. My be all end all goal was to play for Team Canada. It was like having two opposite lives and just about to finish my university degree and continue on to do another degree in mechanical engineering. I was at the peak of my performance and then it came to an abrupt stop. It was Christmas break. We were on our way home from snowboarding. We were in this van that was covered in skulls, painted blue. In the back, there were no windows. There were two couches. Uh, we had a disco ball, I remember, in, in the van. We were probably going over 100 kilometers an hour. And the driver ended up falling asleep at the wheel. People went everywhere. There were broken bones, contusions, missing teeth. I shattered my humerus. Yeah, we were, we were just so lucky that everybody actually survived. So shortly after, um, I had some news from the Canadian national team that I was going to be cut. I lost my carding and my scholarship in an instant. They said, you were snowboarding, like, is that even a sport? You ruined your life. I felt a huge sense of guilt that I had betrayed my coaches, teammates, my parents that had supported me since day one, and it was my fault. But my brother reminded me that snowboarding was something that I could still do. I didn't need anyone's approval to be happy in the mountains. I feel like sometimes in moments of adversity, you have these moments of clarity and it couldn't have been more clear for me that this was where my heart wanted to be. What I thought was the worst mistake ever ended up being the best mistake I ever could have made. It's a constant reminder that adversity is an opportunity to grow stronger.